Hey, this is Colin with Mountain Tactical Company. You're probably asking yourself, where the heck is Jason? Well, I know normally we have Jason on front of the camera talking about product updates, product spotlights, everything in the Tika world, and occasionally ruffling some feathers. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a different video today. This is gonna be a do-it-yourself spray paint tutorial. We have a couple of T3 and T3X stocks in the shop that are just blank black canvases. And I got to thinking, hey, it would be cool if we were able to spray paint this and maybe make it look a little bit different than just a black stock. And so that's what I wanna do today. And so what I would like to do is show you how to take your Tika T3 or T3X stock in its basic form and turn it in to something cool. Okay, everybody, let's get to painting. So this is what I use. Now you can use any color you want, any style you want. I use flat khaki, and that was my base. And then I use some flat earth brown and some flat deep forest green. And then I used primer before I did any, any of this, and then I finished it off with a little bit of clear coat. Make sure you shake your cans up really well before using them, and then just go ahead and put a nice little coat of primer on there. You don't get crazy with it. Just make sure you get a nice even coat over the stock. Now go ahead and start putting your base color on. I'm using flat khaki because I feel like it lets the shapes and sizes of whatever foliage you're using really stand out. And I'll show you what I mean after we apply this coat. Okay, this is the fun part. So make sure before you do anything, in between coats, your paint is dry. Let it sit for 20, or about 20 minutes aside before you do anything. And so what I did, I was up at the mountains and I just grabbed some pine needles off of my local pine trees up there. And I also had some cottonwood trees outside my home. And I just grabbed a couple little leaves off there. And as you can see, I just draped them over my stock and create the pattern that I feel will look cool. You're never gonna quite know and it's always gonna be a little bit of a trial and error, but you can use anything you want that you think looks cool. Okay, now that we have our foliage on there, you can go ahead and start spray painting it over it with your first color. And I'm starting with flat brown. And I'm just doing smooth, even strokes. And you'll also notice that sometimes when I'm spraying, the leaves will move, the pine needles will move. Will move. That's just, it is what it is. You can always kind of readjust them and replace them and repaint them to make it look exactly kind of what you're going. Okay, now that we've let that side dry, we can apply our second color to this, and that's going to be our flat green. And again, I'm just going to do these smooth, even strokes, and again, you're going to see some foliage moving, but this is when it really actually kind of starts to tie together when you combine these two colors. 
it starts to create this really cool camouflage color that I like. Okay, after letting it dry, now we can reveal what this actually looks like. And you start taking these things off just very slowly and it'll start to sort of reveal itself. Pretty cool, huh? I'm actually going to show you, I kind of had a couple little uh, imperfections in the stock and I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do to cover these up. If you're finding yourself with some imperfections, or even if you don't have any imperfections, you may want to use a technique because it's kind of cool. What I had was a uh, all-purpose sponge, like a seven inch all-purpose auto sponge that I cut in half. You don't want to use your house sponge that you use for your dishes or something like that. You want a little bit of a heavier duty sponge. And you'll notice when you cut it in half or cut it in pieces, it has a nice texture in it. So basically just take the color that you want, spray a pool of it on your uh, cardboard, on a piece of cardboard, and then dab your um, sponge very well and then start placing that over your stock in any of the imperfected areas or any of the areas that you think might need some enhancing. Go ahead and repeat that process on the other side. So at this point, you should have both sides of your stock looking pretty solid. Hopefully looking like your environment, maybe looking like something tactical, which I forgot to mention. You can throw some cheesecloth over this or some mesh netting or something and spray paint over that to add a little bit of a different type of texture. You know, you can really play around with this and have a good time. But after that, the final thing we got to do is put a nice layer of clear coat on there. And I apologize for the video, it was looking a little bit dark, I uh, finished the step at night. And basically you don't want to go crazy, but just add a nice even layer of clear coat to you know, basically every inch of this stock and let it dry very, very well. And if you want to add a couple coats, I don't think that's a big deal. I think it just adds a nice little smooth texture and it kind of just ties everything together and keeps everything a little bit more insulated. There you go, everybody. I hope you learned something from this. Again, I am not a professional painter. This is just something I thought might be kind of a fun little project, and I thought I'd share it with you. If you have any comments or suggestions, or if you guys are painting your own stocks, we'd love to see it. Post on socials. Send us some emails to the shop. Let us know. And as always, go get some sugar time.